I've got to ask you though, I mean, um, I get the feeling that uh, quite often we go through these different phases of, of awareness. And it's a little bit like being a schoolboy with a teacher and the teacher explains it to you and you sort of know what he says, but you don't really know what it exactly it is that you must go and do. Yeah. You hear it. It's like a little bit like we watch rugby on TV and the coaches and everyone talk about moving across the advantage line and getting gain ball and, you know, holding on possession and, you know, and, and so forth. Do the, do the players understand that when the coach says to them, you must maintain possession? Or is it something that they just hear the coach say and then they run around the field? No, I personally, I, I think they do understand that. Uh, um, maybe in terms of converting and doing exactly what the coaches are yeah. saying, is that you'll understand there's quite a lot happening in the game. And uh, most players, we've got a very young team, uh, mm -hmm. if I may refer to UWC. And average is, is, is 19, 20 years of age. That's yeah. the team that's playing, the first team now. So it, it happens that they do forget certain things. Um, maybe even the leadership in, in, in the team is not uh, what we would want mm -hmm. or, or, or is, 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 is actually not as matured as we'd like, as we'd like it to be. But uh, um, we're learning through, through this. But there, there are shortcomings. But I, I believe that players do understand and they always want to come to. Well, well, the world certainly is focused on you now, so no more excuses. You're going <laughs> to have the support, the money, the attention, <laughs> and uh, I'm sure it's going to fall in, into place for you. Come on, let's go to the other point in the Premier League. B, people, Monaten is to for France. How could he now be club 14-10? Strand United and he's not a draw. It's for Macassar. Met alle gelijk op gedroom. Mr. Eight twenty twenty elk. Huge derby. No one. Fantastic result yeah. for both teams. <laughs> Silver 3 to be for, uh, uh, for Tien Laguna for Loer. And uh, Silver Leaf, uh, 30, 22 for Van der Stel. In Division 1, Raithbeath United drawing with Hamadias, 19 all. Another draw, Mr. H. Shows. Just goes to show. I don't know what's going on here, but there's a lot of draws. If, uh, if I was a Pakistani cricket player, I'd be suspicious, but <laughs> lucky, lucky I'm not. Let's look at Division 2. Um, Patty, we turn attention to you from Temperance. Um, and this is, of course, where the wheels came off for Whistling Wheels. 34-20, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> nice result for you yeah, guys. Yeah, it was a good one, yes, JP. Um, our first team won. And in the second team, one, our third team lo unfortunately lost, but yeah. it was a good day, good rugby day on Saturday. As you know, the weather was perfect. Yeah. It was a nice crowd. It was nice. It's nice to see the families out there again mm. on Saturday. It was nice. Is there a big community support to Templars? Nice. Uh, uh, Templars have always had a good community base. Yeah. Uh, however, the nu numbers are dwindling now again. So obviously, if the rugby is attractive and mm. things go well mm. again, the families will come back again. Winning and that's rugby, what you need. yeah? That's what you need. That's why you need winning rugby. Exactly. Yeah? Winning rugby. Would you agree with that? You're now on the board of SA Rugby. You have to play winning rugby to cultivate rugby? No, sure, definitely. Winning plays a big role, yeah, but yeah. also the type of rugby that you play. Type that's, of rugby you that's, play, that's, yeah. that's most important, the fact of rugby. Let's look at some of the other results then, folks, in Division 2. Rockland's uh, beating Blue Jets 9 points to 8. Uh, Watsonia 6-5 over Blue Stars. All Saints 37-20 over Strand Pioneers and Atlantis beating Manaburg 20 points to 18. In Division 3, Richmond 5, uh, Gardens Tech 39. A huge victory there for Gardens Tech. Um, 23 for a retreat over Bishop Lavis. And of course, Clutisville going down to Violets. That's in Division 3. In Division 4, we look quickly at the results there. Thistle uh, beating a Progress 27-5. In Bikawi, 8 over, or at least going down to Kailicha, 21 points to 8. Um, and in the pole division, and I know some of you asked us to talk about the pole division, even though you don't pick up Cape Town TV there, we know that you're able to uh, go online to the Western Robins Club Rugby website and get it there. And so let's take a quick look then at the pole division. Vineyards beating Windmill United, 28 points to 24. Albion's a huge victory for them over Peril United, 62-0. Um, no. Enormous result there. Simondium going down to Young Standards, 23-14. Allendale uh, going down to Young Gardens, 23-17. And Lower Pal, 
uh, beating violets. Uh, that's of course the pearl violets, not the local violets. Um, 28 points to 12. Now many of you will know that our sponsors on the show is of course Evox Advanced Nutrition. Evox is the official sports nutrition supplier to Western Province Rugby and the DHL Stormers, which means that you, as a club rugby player or as a Western Province Schools rugby player, are sponsored. If your administrator at your club or your coach still hasn't told you that, then you need to ask your administrator, why have you not told me that I'm not sponsored? But we'll get to the Evox in a moment. In the meantime, of course, our other primary sponsor here at Cape Rugby TV is the Leisure Group. They've got a fantastic set of hotels. You're right here in Cape Town. One of them is the Strand Towers. Now, we did put out in the SMS for you to SMS the word leisure to 32010 and you could have won yourself a night of accommodation at the Strand Towers, including bed and breakfast. Our winner then for this week is Denver Woodington. Congratulations, Denver. You win yourself a night of accommodation, bed and breakfast at the Strand Towers. Now remember folks, if you want to enter that competition and go in the weekly draw, all you need to do is SMS the word leisure to 32010. Standard rates apply. Gentlemen, it's time for us to look at the logs. We'll start off with um, Super League A then. At the top of the logs, it's Marty's. Uh, Vicks, UCT, Hamilton's bring up those top four points there. Mr. H, uh, Super League A is of course important to us here in terms of the fact that we're heading now towards the first half of the season. And from the first half of the season, the winner of the first, or at least the top of the log, first goes to go play in the SA Club Champs. That's right, that's right. So we are close to that. Martis has got one more game to play, and the others have got four or five, so there's a lot of things that can happen. But yeah. tick, I think, theoretically speaking, it's only uh, Hamilton's that can still catch up with the Martis. Well, if we look at the logs there, Hamilton's has got quite a lot of games still in hand. They've only played four games this season. Vix has played nine already. Uh, Martins has played eight. So we're really looking at the top four here. SK Warmers, would you say that they're out of the picture? They've already played six games. It's a bit yeah. tight for them, yeah. eh, Pat? Yeah. A little, little bit tight for them there. I mean, I mean, Patty, what do, you, what do you do at this stage of the, of the contest to make sure that you get through those last few games and get the points? I mean, I was watching David Toms last night playing in the Players' Championships, and all he needed to do was play safe golf, and he <laughs> didn't do it. <laughs> Is it time for, if you're in the, in the top four, to play safe rugby? Play, that's the best thing, to play, maintain your standard there, just to play safe rugby. That's the only thing. You don't need to be uh, scoring no, no, tries. No fancy huh? rugby, just do the basic. That's Actually, in fact, I was thinking about this uh, the other day in terms of the World Cup, and I know that there was criticism, and I know, Pat, you were the, you're the chairman of Western Province Rugby for a long time. In Mandisi, there was this criticism so much for, for example, the Stormers players where we're not scoring tries in the beginning of the season. And then I thought back to the World Cup scenario, and I thought the winner of the World Cup is actually the team that didn't lose any games. It's not the team that won a lot of games no. or scored a lot of tries. The winner of the World Cup was the team who didn't lose any games. Sure. So all you, how do you lose, not lose a game is basically you've got to have good defence. Sure. Mm -hmm. and but also if you look at the points that were scored, it was all penalties in the World Cup final. And nobody moaned about that. It was a win. That's right. <laughs> so hopefully we're going to the World Cup here. Uh, Peter de Villiers in conjunction with Rassi uh, Erasmus, of course. Sure. Um, an innovative coach together with uh, what is certainly in the uh, Super 15 structures, the most uh, defensively comprehensive coach. Definitely. Well, let's hope for the best. We've got a long way to go before the World Cup, <laughs> but I think yeah. that... <laughs> but DC, are you feeling the passion at the UWC? Do the guys get behind the Stormers, the Springboks? Do they feel the vibe? Yeah, yeah, I'll say, I'll say yes, to some extent. To some extent, uh, the, the supporters here and there. Um, and the rest are supporting the Crusaders? I would say so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Well, every person has a right to his own. You can support mm -hmm. whoever you want. Uh, 100%. But Mr. H, I must ask you about that though. Was there a time in your history ever that, that you supported an, another team? Yes. Yes? Yes. Be honest. And, yeah, like, well, let's be honest now <laughs> yeah. then, seeing as we're, we're spilling our guts. Yeah? And, and do you mind if I ask you who that team was? The French team. You supported the French? Yes. Always. Always? I loved the way they played rugby. And, and it was close to the way we played rugby. to becoming French yourself. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, you were... You've got a bit of a French look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now, today? I think things changed when uh, at the World Cup final. I had my doubts. I was sitting next to Pat. 95. Yeah, 95. I was 95, sitting next yeah. to him and I was saying to him, 
My heart is with the Springboks. Yeah. But I can't see them winning. Yeah. And when Madiba walked out with the number six jersey, I told him, yeah. the Springboks is going to win this game. This is one of the most momentous occasions in rugby yeah. or in sporting history. And it happened like that. You know, it, it was fantastic to be there. So, well, if that great man can don a Springbok jersey, embrace the Springbok emblem, who am I who had nothing? You know, I wasn't in jail for 27 years. Mm. Who are these other people that shout, you know, <laughs> we don't support the Springboks? Take your leave from the greatest South African and then you will learn something. That's all I want to say to them. Do you think we're Mandisa, do you think we're gonna get there? Do you think we're gonna get to the point that every person in South Africa one day is going to support the spring box? Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. You eat the, so you eat the elephant one, one bite yeah. at a time. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I think that's fair, folks. Sure. We can't expect everybody to overnight. Sure. So we've got a terrible history in this country and maybe just right now we don't quite deserve a hundred percent full tick market. We've still got a way to go. It's mm. a lot of work to work. And a lot of people have have the right to still be angry, they have the right to express themselves and Several different ways to do that. All right, fair enough. Let's move along then. Uh, in Super League A then, folks, Marty's of course top of the log, followed by Vicks, UCT, Hamiltons, and SK Warmers. In the bottom uh, five, uh, we have Fast Bay, Villages, Durbel, Belha, and Helderberg. Helderberg and Belha, of course, going to have to work hard. They've got to stay uh, in uh, to, to stay in Super League A. Mr. H, it's a derby match this weekend, of course. Belha and Helderberg. Or yes. would you say it's a derby match? But no, it's a it's tough match. Yeah, it's a tough match. Tough it's match. They're both, you know. All right, Super League B. Tigerberg's at the top, followed by Belleville, NNK, Brackenfell, and Peniel Villages. Peniel Villages, of course, on the same points at the moment as Brackenfell. Collegians brings up the uh, bottom part of uh, the table, followed by Hands and Hearts, Kales River, uh, Primrose, and Young Peoples. In uh, Premier League A at the top, we got Goodwood, St. George's, uh, Cryfontein, Elsie's River, and Hamlet. Mr. H, um, St. George's got any chance of, of, of making it up from Premier League? Because your grandfather started that club. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of, in all these, the bonus points yeah. counts a lot. Yes. And if you get the bonus points, you know, whether you win or lose, or you still pick up bonus points. That, in the end, is going to count. And you must remember that we're only halfway through the first round. There's still a second round. Yes. And all the points add up. So there's a lot of rugby to be played for. Mm -hmm. 100%. Hamlet, Scott Steen, Rangers, Paul Langer bring up the uh, next part of the bottom half of uh, Premier League A. Eh? And at the bottom of the log in Premier League A, eh? and you're going to have to work quite hard here, is Stelco. We wish them the best of luck. In Premier League A, eh? a Solarian sitting top of the log, though, sharing top of the log spot with UWC. Medici, uh, where are we going to go from here? UWC, as we chatted earlier on, have got all that experience to draw on now from um, having played in the Varsity Cup. Everybody's expecting big things from you guys. Do you think we're going to see a promotion this week, in the, this, this year, into, into Premier League A? Uh, I, th I think it is, a, it, it is an objective of, of the coaches. It's yeah. an objective of the university uh, that we should, we should win this league. Um, and we support the team with all we have that we, we really want to win the league. And uh, if, if you can, it, I think it will benefit us more if we can play in much more higher leagues, uh, I know we can. We do have a potential. The university does have a potential to attract more sponsors. Uh, it will be only better for us if we get promotion. Well, I certainly hope so. This is the opportunity. You've got yeah. to grab it with both hands. Yeah. Paddy, you'd agree with that, eh? When you have your yeah. chance, you have to take yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, totally. I would like to advise them, you know, to just get hold of the number one of Salorians. I believe he comes from the Congo. He's an Easter man here. <laughs> he <can't> ran them. <laughs> right, Finish. folks, well, uh, we're not uh, promoting player <laughs> coaching on this show, yes, but so you didn't hear that here. But uh, the coach, Congo. All right, <laughs> <laughs> one. Salarians. <laughs> <laughs>